Well, welcome to CCTV. Chris speaking, your host tonight. And what you're looking at right here is skies from a Star Trek new series. They're new series, guys. And uh, this is pretty surreal, you know? Um, pretty insane looking skies. They're showing it just like we're seeing it, but this is supposed to be a series. And you can actually see a lot of the similar stuff going on. If you're really looking and uh, some people watching, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna just show as much footage as I can from all subscribers. Share this video. You guys are the resistance. Um, they shut down every platform I use to share, which is about 19 of them. And I'm left with you guys, which is good. You're the resistance, and uh, I'm gonna keep showing the truth visually. And this is on the new Star Trek series. Um, I just wanted to show you the similar type skies. And it's pretty surreal. Little creatures of the sand gonna be here too. See these little creatures. Pretty creepy looking. Alright, keep watching. This is TV. And bye. Well, everybody, welcome to my studio, and uh, let's get working. This picture I just picked up this morning off of uh, Facebook. I'm not going to give any names. Of I know they're watching my stuff, and I'm not scared, but you know, I'll be wise too. So welcome everybody, um, this is going to be filtering of subscriber footage. And I started out with this piece from this morning because it's current, but can you see what's going on in here? I'm going to back it up. The top here, dark blue, round sphere, wheel looking item. Something like whatever this is. Asteroid ripping through. Little thing here. Little white source there. But this is what I'm talking about. And now this is just as weird as the picture I just showed you from Star Trek, right? Stuff going on. Stuff going on, folks. Stuff going on. And I like to put it in this version because it really outlines things differently. Um, I don't know, this is pretty wild looking. It's like a chariot with the wheel. Something there. Anyways, let's go back and not get too weird. Too quick here. Take right down for auto correction on it. So let's uh, we'll do this do this whole journey. Let's make it um, about a half hour long. Okie dokie. I'm going to click over to this picture right here, it's a completely disturbing. A couple things I want to point out. Um, one, I'll point out the ridge of this thing. Two, what the heck. And three, pretzel plants. But this one, I have another picture from another place. I'll find it in a minute. Anyways, I'll find it in, in this journey. So I'll show you a pretzel plant. Voila, you got me guys. So, we got serious delay here. Move back at the original. But anyways, that's just interesting to look at. Um, if you got any comments on that, the whole thing, just, uh, you know, I know what I see. It looks like Nebiru with some type of pretzel craft face thing there. And then the sun has all kinds of stuff around it, right? That's what I see too. But what's the truth? I don't know. I really don't. So right now I just took you to my now folder. Now my now folder has become a now folder because I find so much stuff I gotta put it in a place where I know I just found it and I won't get lost because there's a lot of stuff going on. But here we go, Pretzel Planet. Let's see if I can clear that up and see what you get here. It's just a strange anomaly. I've seen this thing in other parts of Alaska. Now this is Canada, I believe, and uh, yeah, Canada. I'm going to show you different clips of it. 
I don't know why I call it pretzel funny because it looks like you twist it into a pretzel. Strange, ain't it? Come on. Is that like a, a, a space anomaly? Who knows, right? So that's the space pretzel thing I was telling you about. I wanted you to really see it up close from the ground. Now, notice a couple things in the version that I showed you in, from the cam. We got this huge outline. It's dark back here. We got the pretzel planet right there. Okay. Very similar. Okay, it's very disturbing. <clears throat> because if I go back to the other one, you're going to say, yeah, Chris, I see the same. Now, of course, we think this is our son, of course. Why not? Looks good, doesn't it? It could be our son. But that's okay. Nevertheless. Proof is proof of the pretzel planet. Whatever it means, it's an anomaly. It's a um, nuclear. Now, I believe, I believe that what we're seeing here is um, a little revealing from our handlers that um, what we're seeing is totally correct. Let me show you what I see. They're showing us. We've got an outline there. Um, we got an outline here. We got weirdness there, maybe the cube. We got some asteroids shooting around. Next picture. Let's see what we got. I just get stranger what they're showing us. Um, of course, in one of my videos I just showed yesterday, you're seeing this whole thing come down. But then you're also seeing that, and then it's kind of like that. Look again. Similar, right? Um, a lot of times we're seeing this come into the atmosphere. Cutting through. Ooh, right? Now, if you don't believe me, they're showing us that. Let me go check. Now, like I said, I'm showing you this because it just, you know, so similar. I'm sorry. It has to be this way. Okay? And of course, it goes up like this. And of course, some of the same rocks. They have different positions. A uh, little moon. Sun. So, um, but you know, the show must go on. Can't be afraid. Be aware. Be aware. Be aware. Be awake. Now, showing you all this, I'm not saying it to scare you. I'm just fearing you is to put reality to this. Um, they know what's going on. Now they're showing us what's going on and I'm sharing it with you. They got me uh, shadow banned all the way down to like two or three hundred hits. And that's okay because you guys share and new people get in. Um, they don't want to show what I'm doing. So I'm considering going private channel but you guys are going to give me feedback on that before I do anything about a private channel. Um, but this is some surreal the real footage here. Okay, continue. <clears throat> so, you get what I'm doing here? Another thing they want us to be aware of, this is how I'm narrating this thing, because I see it like this thing, is this kind of R2's two's moon, or R2, or R2, this is R2, let's say. Okay, very similar, and this is maybe R2's little teeny moon they got portrayed, or Vice versa, you know, give or take a feel. Okay, that was cool. Um, I like that. Thank you for that one. Uh, Elite, thank you for letting us know what, what's coming down the pipeline. We see it in the skies, right? Now, I just want to be clear that we see the similar same stuff. A lot more clouds, maybe. They pulled them back a little bit on here for us. So, here you go again. This could be... Um, pretty much is. Okay, going like this, behind the scenes. See this purple? R2, R2's moon. Then you have the... You got this going on here. 
this little movie never lose moon. This could be the fizzy green. You got the green in the atmosphere. And of course, whatever they got here, I don't care. Sci-fi. So it's fun to see that. They're just letting you know, this is what's coming down, this is what's going on in the sky. We want to show you a clear picture of it for right now. I don't know why, but I just want to show you some of the things that could be revelation here. Going on, they're showing you the creatures that are going to come with this planet system. Uh, this is their version of, uh, let's say, ancient old Anunnaki. Let's give him a little zest. There you go. Give him a little zeal. Uh, you know, it's making my channel, so it's pretty good. This is what I really see. The demonic entity, guys. Look at the symbols on the hat. Okay? I don't know. I don't know. Okay? But I, I think it's strange that that's there. Anybody gets any insight on the symbols on the hat, let me know. Okay. Look at those guys. Anybody got any clues? That could be a revelation all by itself. If you get clues and want me to interview you, all you have to do, we can go online, is have a computer with a, a headset and a, or an earbuds or whatever, and a camera. But I just want to reveal that little secret I found. Um, I am a watch guy. I do watch stuff. I see patterns. I see stuff revealed. Let's get off that scary thing there. Okay, now up here, um, you see in lightning, let's get a, let's just go ahead and get a really good, uh, realistic what we're looking at here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this thing, this thing is fake. This is, uh, you know, CGI or Hollywood. So I'm going to take it to my CGI company. Okay, that's getting right. Sharpening. So I'm going to take what they put out there and I'm going to show you what really I see here. Crazy stuff. Get some clarity on that. So, you know, one of the first things you got here is autism. Insane looking. So exactly what we're seeing in the sky. Over here you got this going on, this going on. They're showing you, got that little red down there. Same stuff, guys. Okay, let's move on, not obsess about it. You can see, you know, I left these little feet in here, but you're ready. You're ready to keep moving. It's a uh, dark time, put it out, dark times. But it's the same, if I just insinuate it, you'll see it better. Yep, same stuff. Same stuff. Same skies. Showing the same thing we're seeing on Earth right now. This is from another planet on Star Trek series. For educational purposes, I'm using this. And look at this. Look at this. That's just terrible. Be amazing to see the real truth. That's what they're showing you. Purple planet. Dark greens. All CGI, but they're showing you what they want you to see. I'm just, I'm just repeating this so you can be aware of what is going on. Media always shows you. You got the green planet, you got the purple planet, you got the purple reflection, you got the moon of Nibiru. Come on. Nah, it's not bad, it's just real. And you know, your family might think you're crazy, but hey, I never thought about this stuff, ever. But now you see stuff happening. What are you gonna do? Not down about it? So you see everything's lighting up, planets coming in, government's on fire, uh, all kinds of signs of the time, incoming asteroids, and the asteroid point I put out this morning. Uh, you know, hold on guys, you just watch and pray, don't be afraid. Kind of all joy, because you know, this is Bible happening. Bible, Bible, Bible happening. And it kind of all peace, peace, and sudden destruction. So, some of us are going to be aware of what's going on. you have either shown us through the Star Trek show. Now, a subscriber uh, on 
Facebook, I believe, and showed me this and it allowed me to share our stuff. And when I notice I have two reflections, okay, which make these double sided. Then you have this, and you have this. As far as I can see, you know, it's overlapping, maybe from the last filter shot of that right there, silhouetted. But it is very cool, so, but you do have the two sides there. So, but the way they've projected it, it's a really cool looking shot. So my brother and friend and comrades, Garrison, sent me this. Garrison also sent me this. Check this out. <laughs> nice shot. Nice shot, Garrison. Now I got a shot like that, I'll show you. There. But here we go. Let's just put a different filter in. Bring this thing down. What you're really looking at. That's what you're looking at. It's the whole planet going on. This right here, I think, is the uh, OCG. There's just a whole bunch of stuff going on with it. Um, it could have been Astro, the moon. You know, it's just surreal. Garrison, good shot, Garrison. I love it. Garrison's one of the moderators. It's a brother and comrade. There you go. That's what I like to see. Now I'm going a little bit deeper, I'm bringing out more of the yellows and greens. And um, the way I have my filters set up, I can do this in a certain way. Where I don't lose the attributes. Now I'm going to go back to Dirty Blue Sky. Same sky. Very good shot. Thank you, Garrison. That was a good one. I like that one. Just very simple. <laughs> That's actually, I think maybe actually R2 right there. Pretty good picture of it too. You know, you really get to examine this stuff with filters. And it's kind of nutty, I know, but you know, come on guys, it's surreal. You can't make this stuff. I mean, I know Garrison didn't go, let me go learn how to do Photoshop so it totally looks real. No, Garrison didn't do that. But it's a good shot right there, he's driving along. I'm gonna do a vert I'm gonna do a vertical split on this one. Watch what happens. Oh, I think I'm not gonna do it now. I know. I'm gonna scroll a little bit deeper now. <clears throat> I do not want you to put a disturb at all, but inside this mess is a planet. It's a rock. It's huge. I like this right here. Triangle. Look at how unreal looking. So they do all they can. This is that upward slope. And this is the drag off clouds. There's also rocks and stuff right here. But they do all they can to hide it. This is from Frank G. If I give a few of your names, don't worry about it. Saying. I might have showed that before, but it's always good to look at it again. This one totally mind blowing. Um, I like to do that to it. Just to throw some some uh, depth to it. Let's just go back to what's what's really going on right there. Intense looking. Thank you, Frank. Love your work. Good job. Great job. Yeah. So you got never Maybe the yellow sun. This is so much. Yeah. It's all over. All over. Now this folder, guys, is from, uh, I call it the William Bill folder, because I'm not sure if William and Bill are the same person, to be totally honest. You have to reveal the truth, guys. Anyways, a lot of people have three IDs out there, and I don't care. It doesn't bother me, but, you know, I don't know. I call it the William Bill. Probably, like, I, sometimes I have to get with five different people. But I want to show you that. I want to show you that. Different perspective on this thing. Weirdness. Go back to the original. I like that shot the best. There you go on a striped planet, William Bill. 
So I tell you, I wouldn't give you names, but you know, some names I don't know. That is so strange. Talk about faces, guys. Look at that craziness. Uh, I almost can't eat. I almost can't leave that alone. Oh my god. That is just too weird, Bill. Looks like Doug. Oh no, it looks like Anna Nuka. I know. That's just strange. I'm not going to try to figure it out. Next. That's a good one, whatever it is. And a lot of these shots, I know they're showing, but um, some of them, some of them are just like that self-explanatory. That's nothing that I know of. Um, just weird pictures, right? You can So here we go, this totally disturbing looking sky right here. But this is what you guys send me. This is from Frank. Very disturbing. Part of the whole system coming in on top there is the river room. Move this whole area down, like the river room. The objects in front of it. This picture is totally disturbing here. What's really going on? That is the OCD. Oh. 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 in the background. Wow. Another absolutely disturbing picture. Disturbance in the heavens. Mm, unreal. <clears throat> the angelic warfare. Over the planet, we got meteors and new lights. Little rocks like this coming through, whipping through, and all that stuff. A lot of stuff, just rocks. Now, back here, you got you know, the old blue never room. Woody. That's it on that, that one. A lot on there. Check out this one. Wow, Frank, that's incredible. Let's just go right to the magic, magic filters. This is the behaves. Of course, you have. Almost like you can see the surface of it, Frank. It's unbelievable. Going at sign that one, deliver that one. Man, it's pretty good looking.
You guys ever see the movie Epox? <laughs> That's it right there, right? This was sent in, I think it, I don't know if this was Frank. But, um, it's insane looking. Aha, uh -huh. where'd that light come from, huh? I don't know. That little bit of light. Now, autocorrect it. That is a um, disturbing shot. Okay, so you got that one. That's pretty interesting. And he sent me this one also. I call them space whales. I don't know what else to call them. You guys got like the intelligent thing on this one. Go ahead and embarrass yourself. Go ahead. I don't care. Watch. I'll just show you what I can do. You tell me what you know. You're holding back. Space Wells. Anyways, that we've kind of joked about it on uh, Facebook, and it's a very interesting piece. Thank you for that. I just find it over there. It's interesting. All right, that's enough of that, Frank Chandler. Wow. Steady demo celebrity. Uh, Okay, let's just do my cell phone real quick. If there's anything in here. Who's looking at you? <laughs> Get to a better file, that's, that's a safety file. This folder called Living in Shim Ice Cream Shows. I know. Let's go to Carol. Carol Rocco sign. Carol sent me some strange stuff. Don't know what it is. Did not tell you. I have no clue. Not a clue. Anyways, some space NASA stuff. That's interesting. Now are they lens flares? I don't know. But she took them and said, hey Chris, what's that? Look at that one. It's a clip, that one. That little surface. I don't know. Moscow. More from 
these are from Earth Camp, Moscow. No filter on these at all. And that's strange, huh? Green sky at night. What, what's making that green? That is the question. Could just be lights in the ground, right? That's right. Here's another. What's making the lights purple? Making them green. Oh, what's making them pink? It's all from Russia. The French code behaves a little bit and autocorrect. There's just a lot of pink in the sky and it's going on everywhere. This they say it's purple in the sky at night time. Now this is stuff I caught off cam. I'm a subscriber. There you go, another one. Look at that thing. I think it's from the ground. Anyways, enough on Russia. This is pretty interesting. This is November 8th last year. I just thought it was interesting. I'll show it off again. And so it's right here. It's so easy. I don't know who sent this in, but a very good picture. Very interesting. It could be uh, a, a real clear shot of the yellow moon or not, too. It's a guesswork here. But there's clearly a good guess as as mine. I don't think that's a sign. Now, this one. <laughs> you tell me. You got the sun on the left, and you got this strange pink planet. Is it real? Or is it fake? Is this a fake? We'll find out. Don't look like no. Pretty intense looking pink. A lot of times when people try to fake it, I'm not saying this person is faking it. There's a pit. This is a, something I clipped and I took a picture of it. This is real though. This is a real pink planet and this kind of Come on, folks. How good is that? Now you just want to get a picture of that, right? So let's go ahead and walk through this one. I'm going to autocorrect it. Zoom in on it. And I caught this one. It's an Earth cam. Spanish. It's a, I think it's a Mexico somewhere right here. Look at that. So what's what I did? Let's see if I did. walking through this filter. <clears throat> I have not really seen uh, something I would say is this red. Really, the sky is more purple. So you're getting this pink reflection on the white planet. That's that. Thinking possibly, right? Like, it ain't just that weird. It could be just that weird, but here's just that behaves with the auto correction. Uh, could it be red Kachina? And that's the way it's showing up for us. A little pink. Interesting shot. Person like this version of it. Different version of what you're seeing. But this would be more realistic for a slide 5 version of it. I know, I'm getting strange, folks, but that's so real. Yeah.